Welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Berani's coming back to you guys today with a memory speed comparison for APUs. Uh, testing 1866 speed memory versus 1600 speed memory. And am obviously testing whether this makes a difference for FPS. Now I'm testing at 1080p and I'm also testing on a 3870K, which isn't as fast as the 5800 or 6800K, but it's still a decent APU. Now I'll be giving, showing you guys the benchmarks and I'll also be showing you guys a recommended BIOS tweak at the end. And also give you guys my thoughts and opinions on what I think you know with in regards to this APU and memory speeds so anyway let's get on with the benchmarks all right so looking at the first benchmark here we have Batman Arkham Asylum this is at 1080p and medium quality settings and we can see here that there's virtually no difference the only difference was in the average frames per second which was like 0.22 frames per second higher which is pretty much you can put that down to variance the minimum and the maximums were the same now looking at Black Ops 2 at medium quality settings at 1080p, again we had almost virtually the same results with the maximum being just one frame higher at 1866 and the average being slightly lower at 1866. But again, you can put this down to variance, so virtually the same with Black Ops 2. Now Skyrim, this is 1080p Ultra. Now this is a setting that I know is stressful for CPUs and RAM. Because uh, when I did these tests on my Intel, it did net results between uh, different RAM speeds. And again, the, the, it does net different results at 1080p on Ultra for an APU. So at 18.66, the maximums were the same, but the minimum was 1 FPS higher at 14 versus 13. And the average frames per second was 17.12 versus 16.52. Now, although that's not much of a difference in raw numbers, in percentage terms, it's, I think, roughly... I don't know, maybe almost 5%, uh, I'd have to do the calculations, but again, it made a bit of a difference, but ultimately, the biggest difference uh, that was was made in terms of APUs, performance for APUs, was changing the amount of dedicated RAM in the BIOS. So the auto, it's scary to note that the auto setting for this is 256 megabytes on a 3870K. Uh, the 5800K and the 6800K, I think it's 512, but you want to at least max this out. So um, I'll show you guys this tweak right now and basically when this was on auto at 256 megabytes of dedicated uh, DDR RAM for the uh, for the GPU portion of the APU we saw a 14.44 14 frames per second in Skyrim uh, with a minimum of 7 and this was really horrible screen tearing this was unplayable like completely unplayable the maximum was also lower as well when we changed this to 512 which I did all my tests on 512 uh, dedicated megabytes of RAM we had here the average uh, as you saw in the benchmark before 16.52 so that was a pretty quite a big difference quite a significant difference so let's move on now I'll show you guys how to do this in BIOS how to change the uh, dedicated mem memory uh, for the APU in the BIOS so I want you guys to start up your computer and enter BIOS by either hitting the F2 or the delete key. And now once you're in BIOS, you'll notice straight away that it just, as it says here, 256 megabytes of shared memory. That is the auto setting. Now we're going to want to change this. And also one important thing to note is that different motherboard manufacturers will have different looking uh, BIOSes. So this is the ASRock UEFI BIOS for the FN1 motherboard. So once we've done that, I want you guys to go over to the Advanced tab and into North Bridge configuration. Now, once we, so hit enter, and once you enter here, you can go down to share memory, and you can see here it's on auto. I want you guys to change this to either 512 megabytes or higher if you can. And basically what this will do will give you, it'll give you the best performance increase as opposed to memory speeds per se. So after you've done that, just hit save changes and exit, and you're good to go. So, in conclusion, I will say that I do not recommend spending money on faster memory for an APU in order to get an FPS increase. I would honestly just save that money and put that money into a dedicated graphics card. And I'm going to be releasing a video pretty soon that shows the difference between an APU and a dedicated gaming rig like my own rig. So I'll be doing some benchmarks, apples to apples. However, keep in mind that, you know, my rig is overclocked and you know the APU rig is not overclocked but it just goes to show this the next the next video that I will bring out will go to show that you know a APUs really aren't um, as they're nowhere near as good as a dedicated CPU and a dedicated graphics card. So, you know, if you guys want to go with an APU specifically for gaming, then I, I'd only suggest doing so if you can't, 
if you can't spend the extra money like if you can only go with like a $300 budget because if you can get like a $400 budget you can get something like a 7770 and that will kick the pants off any APU out there at the moment for gaming. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and peace out for now. Brian Easy. Bye.